Hello everybody, welcome back to my gaming review. Today, um, I want to actually take a look at the Nintendo Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. Edition. Now, this came out for the um, Super Mario Bros. Anniversary. And this Game & Watch comes with three built-in games. It comes with the game Ball, Super Mario Bros. 1, and Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, now, the Nintendo Game & Watch was... Um, uh, Nintendo... When Nintendo first started making handheld um, systems, the Game Boy actually wasn't Nintendo's first handheld. Nintendo's first handheld was actually the Game & Watch series. So you had Game & Watch Mario, Game & Watch Donkey Kong, and so on. And each Game & Watch had their own um, game inside, so you couldn't actually replace the games. There was no cartridge slot on the system anywhere to be found, and you couldn't really replace the games. Um, so anyway, this is a newer Game & Watch that came out at uh, the Mario Anniversary. This is the Mario Anniversary Edition. The, I think it was like the 35th Anniversary um, Super Mario Game & Watch. But um, when these originally came out though, um, each Game & Watch came with one game and one game only. Now obviously nowadays we have different technologies, so when Nintendo made the new Game & Watches, they have the Legend of Zelda Game & Watch they made recently, and they also have the 35th Anniversary Game & Watch, but when they made these, they made these that have a um, USB-C cable, so you have a charger in this console, which my Game & Watch, I think, is actually dead. Um, yes, my Game & Watch is actually dead. So I have to charge this thing, so I can't really show gameplay on this video. But the system has game, time, pause and set, A, B buttons, D-pad, you got the Nintendo logo right there, and you got Super Mario Bros. right there. But when, when Nintendo made this though, um, they made it. They made it with a battery. It has a backlit screen, so it's basically just a uh, modern day Game Watch. Um, the original Game Watch, uh, the original Game Watch systems did not have backlit screens. They did not have rechargeable batteries. They only had watch batteries in them, and they did not have. They definitely did not have USB-C um, for charging the system. Um, but anyway, this is a really cool system though. The Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch. You have the Game & Watch logo right there. Game & Watch, Super Mario Bros., Nintendo. Um, when, when it was the 35th anniversary, I think I actually got this when the um, when it actually came out. Because it was on Amazon. And I was like, oh, this is the um, Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch that came out. And I, I never owned a Game & Watch. I have a Nintendo Game Boy. I have other Nintendo systems. But I've never actually owned... A Nintendo Game & Watch. I actually bought this um, on the 35th anniversary. I think on Amazon I found it. And uh, it's really cool. It's a really cool experience. It's not the best way to play Mario though because you have Mario on the Super Nintendo, you got Mario on the original Nintendo, and obviously Nintendo Switch. You can actually play the classic Mario. Um, so playing Mario Bros on this little screen with these Little buttons is not the best experience. I mean, look at how small these buttons are, and look at the D-pad. Um, but I do like the game Ball on Hill. Um, ball is basically where <clears throat> you have to keep on catching um, the ball, and if the ball drops on the ground, then you lose. Um, that game does get boring after a while because you are just sitting there with this, and you know it kind of gets boring. But overall, the Nintendo Game and Watch. Um, Super Mario Bros. 35th Anniversary Edition is a really nice little system to buy and it's really really nice for collectors and people who love Nintendo. Um, it also looks really nice. They also have the Legend of Zelda Game & Watch that comes with um, I think it comes with two Legend of Zelda games or like three of them plus it comes with another original Game & Watch game. Um, the original Game & Watch game for this system is Ball um, I'm not really sure what original Game & Watch game comes with Legend of Zelda version, because I don't have that Game & Watch. Um, but yeah, these are really cool systems, and if you're a collector or somebody who loves Nintendo, I think most people would actually really like these little systems. Um, you can also, also, the screen, when you turn the system on, it shows Mario jumping around and stuff, so you can actually kind of like keep this, keep this out like a clock, and just watch Mario go doom 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 as the time changes and it's actually really cool because when it becomes nighttime 
it becomes nighttime for Mario on the screen. When it becomes daytime, it becomes all bright and light, and the levels actually change, which is actually really uh, fascinating and cool that Nintendo did that. Um, anyway, this is going to be just a quick review of the Nintendo Game & Watch um, Super Mario Bros. Edition, the 35th Anniversary Edition, I should say. Um, they have two of these that they came out with. They got the Legend of Zelda and Mario one, and then they also have the original ones that came out um, you know, decades ago. Um, the original Game & Watches, again, only had one game, they had no backlit screens, and they had no um, chargeable battery. Um, but anyway, just want to make this quick video, so hope everyone enjoyed the video, and tell me what you think about the Game & Watch um, Mario Edition, uh, and if you actually own a Nintendo Game & Watch. Um, doesn't really matter which one, do you own a Game & Watch? Have you experienced the Game & Watch? Um, it's a quite unique um, little system. But anyway, I'm going to end the video, so I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe. And again, tell me what you think about the Nintendo Game & Watch, Nintendo's first handheld system that they have pretty much remade um, nowadays because they have the Legend of Zelda, plus this one that they came out with. Um, anyway, peace out.